Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the Web Design with WordPress 101 course. In today's class, I'll show you how you can use categories and tags to help organize your content and make it easier for your visitors to find that content. In order to better understand what a category and tag actually are, I'll use a WordPress analogy that is fitting. If you think of WordPress as a book, think of categories as your table of contents, and the tags are the keywords that are usually found in the index. Both of these systems help your visitors navigate your content more successfully, especially if you have a lot of content on your site. Categories and tags only apply to posts, so I'm going to open up a post editor to get started. By default, all posts will automatically be placed in the uncategorized category. You can change this while you're editing your post by adding a new category under the category field on the right-hand side of the page. If you haven't already added a category, you'll notice the uncategorized is the only existing option. Click the Add New Category link to add a new category and link it to this particular post. When you click the link, a drop-down option appears that allows you to enter a new name for your category and assign a parent category if desired. The parent category gives you a way to organize your categories into a hierarchy. If you don't wish to place the current category you are creating under another category, then don't select another category and click Add New Category. After you've created the category, you can select it from the options above. There's also a tab on the Category field that allows you to view the most used categories quickly. When you are creating categories, it's wise to only assign one category per post. If there's additional descriptors that you'd like to add to your post, you can utilize tags to do so. We'll talk more about tags later on in this class. You can also change the category of a post by using the All Posts page. Here you can see what posts have been assigned to each category. If you'd like to change the category for a post, you can choose the Quick Edit option that appears under your post name when you hover over the post with your mouse. The Quick Edit option gives you the ability to alter the category for the selected post, among other things. Don't forget to click the Update button on the far right-hand side to save your changes. If you'd like to manage the categories themselves, you can do so by using the Categories menu tab on the left-hand navigation menu under Posts. Here you can add and remove categories from your site. If you want to add a category, simply type in the name, bug, and description for your category and choose a parent category if you desire. Then click the Add New Category button. The SWOG field represents how the category will appear in the URL address for the specific post. If you don't fill in the field, then WordPress will use the name you selected for your category in all lowercase letters. Although it is not required to enter a slug or a description for your category, it is a good idea to do so for future reference. Now, if you view your actual web page, you should notice that there is a new category listed under the Category widget. The Category widget provides your visitors with a link to your categories for easy access. If you'd like to change how this area appears on your site, go to the Appearance tab on your left-hand navigation menu and click the Widgets option from the pop-up menu. We'll cover more about how to manipulate the menus found on this page in a later class, but feel free to take a look at your widget and see how you can change its appearance. The other option for grouping your content is to take advantage of the WordPress tags. The Tags field is found below the Categories field in your Post Editor. Enter the text for the tag you desire and click the Add button to add the tag to your post. A tag usually is a keyword that makes a reference of some sort to the content of the post. You can have more than one tag for a post on your page if you like, and in many cases you will probably do just that. If you want to delete a tag after you've added it to a specific post, simply click the X next to the tag name. You can also edit the tags associated with your posts from the All Posts screen found on the left-hand navigation menu below the Posts menu. Once again, click the Quick Edit link to quickly add or change tags for the selected video, and click the Update button to save your changes. Tags have a similar page to the Categories page that allows you to add and manage your tags. The link for the page is found on the left-hand navigation menu under the Posts tab. The tags will also appear right below the actual posts on your website. This link will allow a user to find all posts associated with a particular tag when they click the tag itself. 
Tags are not hierarchical and exist completely independently of one another. If you are looking to have a hierarchical organization of your posts, you should use categories to do so. Let's recap what we've covered in today's class. You can use categories to help group your posts in a more logical and comprehensive manner. You should limit your post to one category per post. Categories can be arranged to create a hierarchy which will allow you to place categories under other categories on your site. Tags can also be used to help distinguish content. Unlike categories, they cannot be arranged in a hierarchy and you are encouraged to use more than one tag per post. The user will be able to search your site based on the category and or tag assigned. This way, they can find more material related to the posts that brought them to your site in the first place. That's it for today's class. Thanks for watching on behalf of E3. This class concludes our lecture series on the Web Design with WordPress 101 course. Keep an eye out for future courses involving web design using WordPress.